Hey, good morning, guys. It's uh, Ani with Chica's Kitchen. It is about almost 5 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Uh, I've got here, I put in last night, a Mediterranean artisan uh, dough, and it's ready. So I'm going to turn it out, but let me tell you what I'm going to do with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make... Uh, I'm going to make a loaf, definitely, uh, but I'm also, with part of this, I'm going to make meat and cheese stuffed Mediterranean dough balls, I guess, or balls. <laughs> so I'm going to stuff some of this and make uh, little balls out of it and then bake them, and uh, we're going to go ahead and try that out. Just do it. Just... My husband thought about making Philly cheese, steak, meat-filled, uh, artist, Mediterranean artisan balls. And I was like, okay, well, instead of making it Philly cheese steak, just in case it doesn't turn out, I'm going to use ground meat the first time around. But it'll be the same concept. You know, you just have to substitute it to with uh, steak, strip steak, I guess, would be the best to use, and onions and the sauce and the Swiss cheese and provolone cheese, and you're done. So it would be the same concept, but I'm going to go ahead and try it out with some ground meat and turkey, because I also have another video to do uh, to finish up with the stuffed green bananas. So, rellenos... Um, um, guineos rellenos is what it's called in Spanish. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this dough out. Let me heat up my oven. Just to get it warm in here. You may hear some banging. That's Hubster in the room. We're getting some carpet in the bedroom. They're coming today. And, uh, So you may hear some banging. He's just clearing some extra stuff out. He tore up the carpet himself. He's like that. I mean, even though the company, you know, their guys do all that. <laughs> he's like, nah, I'll do it myself. Thank you very much. So I'll turn this dough out. It is very sticky. I'm going to need some additional flour probably. Just get it all out of here. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I'm not trying to leave any olives behind. <laughs> leave no salt behind. Alright. So. Let's put my flower shaper. Artisan bread requires a dusting of flour when you mess with it. Won't hurt it any. So it's always good to flour your hands. Clean your hands with the flour. It's important that you wash your hands so they be impeccably clean. When you mess with the dough. Alright, so I can't help it. It's like you have such joy. 
<laughs> We're been in the kitchen. Who said that? This stove is going to be a little wet. Nothing that sunflower can't remedy. It won't hurt it none. It's very forgiving, this recipe. Okay, it also helps to have one of these. I might need to make some bigger holes. <laughs> All right, turn this water off. It's kind of annoying hearing that in the background. Now that I've used this much flour, I want to. helps uh, develop some of the gluten. Just slam it in around. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in one third. take this part right here I'm going to save this for some dough balls again it's an experiment so in the meantime I'll let it rise okay and cover that as soon as I can find the lid and then with this 
what I'm going to do is put it in the Pullman pan and I'm going to make it into like a bread loaf. this loaf it smells delicious I'll tell you what all the spices in here the onion powder garlic powder and uh, basil and then of course the olives, black olives, and only this one I didn't have uh, pimento stuff, pimento stuff, green olives. Yeah, I have ran out, but that's okay. You see, that's the best part of this thing, you know, is get creative, you know. Get what you can in. Pull that in there. Pull it up. Okay, stuff that in there. Pull it up. And pinch. And we're gonna go ahead and bring the spread together. And then we wanna go ahead and put it in the pan. Now we gotta Pat it, shape it by gently patting it down. Okay. There you have it. And now what we're going to do is... Follow to the side. We're going to go ahead and let me wash my hands. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cover this and let it proof for about 30 minutes. Let me move this meat out the way. Okay, and then this is also proofing. It'll be for 30 minutes. That's the what we're going to make the little stuff balls with. So let me set my timer. And I shall bring you all back as soon as that timer buzzes. Okay. I've got the bruschetta bread in the 
loaf, I should say, in the oven. And the Mediterranean one. And I'm going to go ahead and start. I made the meat. Which I hope is cooled enough. I'm going to go ahead and start working on this dough. This is an experiment, y'all. If it works out, then I'll go ahead and make it with some steak. Right now, I'm making it with some ground meat. I have to make that ground meat anyway because I have to fill in the stuff, stuff the green bananas. Make those little balls. So, we make a I'm going to turn this around this way because I need the length. Okay. I'm going to be careful that burner is still hot. So if you're wondering why I'm all the way over here, it's because that burner right here is still hot from making that meat. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so got a tray lined with parchment paper and buttered, sprayed, I should say. So now, let's see. Okay. Make like eight of them, I guess. Maybe not, maybe six. Yep, it looks like six. All right. Remember, this is one third of the, the loaf. to the side. I don't see them drying out anytime soon. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go ahead and flatten that out. Jesus, see how this will work out. Small spoon. I think I'm going to put some Parmesan Pepperoncini Romano first. I've already done my meat. And there's a video on that. There's another video on that. And put a spoonful of meat. And then I'm going to put a piece of cheese. A little sprinkle of mozzarella. And then I'm going to try to close this bad boy by pulling the corners into the top kind of making a little wonton if you will okay and just bring it up and pinch it on top okay make sure it is closed the bottom Roll it around your hands a little bit and make 
make sure there are no openings where it can burst out. Okay? And there you have it. Then I'm lining it in. My parchment pan. My parchment paper in the pan, I mean. And I'll do one more. We're going to flatten this out. Put a little bit of Parmigiano pepperoncini. Romano. A spoonful of meat. Don't want too much. You want to be able for it to close. And then... The cheese that's provolone. I don't have Swiss right now, but if this works out, I'm gonna get some so I can do the pepper steak version. You better believe it. Okay, then we're gonna start pulling, pulling in. Pulling in and pinching. Pulling in and pinching. Pulling in and pinching. And that dough will stretch. Okay, you gotta pinch it close. And you see how there's a hole right there? Pinch that close. Just pinch it all close. Move the dough around. Alright, let's be cold. I'm going to pinch this. Alright. She's still dropping her toy. You to play with her? No, that's tape. Oh, there you go. That's two. And you all get the gist of it. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish these, put them in a pan, and then I'm going to let them rest for 30 minutes. And I'll bring you back when it's time to bake. By then, this one should be done baking. That one's got about 36 minutes to go. The bruschetta bread in the oven. The mini Mediterranean bruschetta bread, I should say. Alright, so I'll bring you back. Alright, so I guess my mini loaf is done. So I'm going to take that out, and then I'm going to put these babies in and bake them, okay? Which is what this video is all about. <laughs> all right, let me get my cooling rack here so I can put what I have in the oven. Okay. And there is my Mediterranean loaf. Mini loaf, bris brisketta loaf. I'm gonna put these meat-filled mini Mediterranean rolls in. And I got it at 450. So at 450, I'm gonna time it for 30 minutes and we'll check them together remember this is an experiment Hofstra's idea <laughs> I'll be back just wanted to show you guys there's the bruschetta Mediterranean olive loaf bruschetta style yep 
I'm gonna go ahead and cut into that. Even though it's still very hot. Let me get my jacket edge knife, bread knife. I'm not going to butter it because bruschetta has to be toasty hard. So, let's get to take a look, shall we? I hope it has nice craters inside. It might just be a bread type. Let's see how this one came out. Woo! Look at all that seasoning. You see that? And them olives. Oh, yeah. Crunchy. Ah, thank you, Jesus, for this food, for this bread. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Father, thank you. Bless it. May it provide nourishment for our bodies, all in this house who partakes and friends that come by. In Jesus' name. There it is. It's still hot. That's what I'm holding it. Like that. I'm just going to take a bite. Hope I don't burn myself. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. A soft crunch, not a hard crunch where you break your teeth. And soft on the inside. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my God, is that good. Perfectly seasoned and salted. You guys got to get make yourself some. Hey, those uh, meat-filled, those mini Mediterranean meat-filled balls, um, bread balls, <laughs> that was Hubster's idea to do that Philly cheese steak. Now, I didn't want to go ahead and ruin some steak on a, on a, on a test run, so I made it out of ground meat and turkey sausage so if it turns out really well next time i'm going to make a philly cheesesteak but that was one of hubster's uh, ideas and requests if you don't have a request for me let me know put it in the comments i promise i'll do my best to do it and uh that way you all will have the instructions and you can make it yourself. If you have any doubts how to do something. Or if you just want to see me make one. Of whatever it is you request. Let me know. I'll be more than happy to. I take requests. <laughs> Alright. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and continue on with my recipes. So, hang on tight. Those meat-filled mini Mediterranean balls will be coming out in about 24 minutes. All right. 30 minutes are up. We're going to take a look at these babies in here. I'm going to put my oven mitts on. Because that's 450 degrees. And those pot holders ain't going to cut it. So here we go. Oh, they look good. Ooh, look at that. Aren't those pretty? All right, so um, some of them bursted out. So I'm going to go ahead and let them cool off. And we'll cut one open and we'll see what we got. We'll see what this invention or Hubster's 
inspirational idea. What it holds to be. But they look good. I'm going to go ahead and put some butter on them. the crust to be too crispy on these. So I'm going to go ahead and put some butter over them. But these look really good. I hope they taste good. Look like the biggest one, these two. That'll be for Hopster since it was his idea. <laughs> what am I saying? He gets everything. <laughs> I can't eat all this. Some of the stuff I make you, believe it or not, I can't eat. I make taste. That's about it. I have one taste, a slither of this, a slither of that. And, uh, I give puffs to the rest and the rest of mine and the rest of whatever's been cooked. But he does uh, take two meals. He does his lunch at work and then he does his dinner when he gets home. So, I'll, And he works really hard. So I try to make sure that what he eats is hearty and good and not too many preservatives. Probably why he's, he doesn't weigh 500 pounds. You know what I mean? So, you know what? Maybe some. I saved some of the cheeses. And I have a little bit of sauce. Why don't I just put some sauce on it? And some cheese. This is uh, spaghetti sauce. Just the four cheese uh, hunts, four cheese can. So. Yeah. There we go. They look like they're going to be good, so I don't feel like I'm wasting any <laughs> sauce. Now this, remember this came from the bruschetta recipe. So let's get some good flavors. All right, we got some of that going. Go this way. I'm going to mix this, the rest of this, uh, Parmesan Romano, the Francini Romano together, and just sprinkle on top. Hmm? What do you know? Doesn't look too bad, does it? And it's kind of missing something. It's missing some green. So I'm going to sprinkle some parsley flakes on top of it. And there you have it. 
That would be a Philly cheese, a mini Mediterranean Philly cheese steak. Stuffed ball. But um, this has got the ground meat, so just a mini Mediterranean stuff roll is what I'm going to call it. Uh huh. That looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and take you in for a close-up. Oh. Let me get rid of this. Stuff right here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and clean this one up a little bit. got to be careful. It's hot. Well, that's kind of stuck on there real good. Baked right on. Okay. Well, there you have it. I'm going to send take a picture of this. Send it to Hubster because he did make the last two. Since it was his creativity, his idea... I figured he can have hands on, so I had to make the last two before he went to work. So he can feel good about. Let me turn this oven off, being part of it. So there you have it, folks. I'm going to go ahead and tear into one, uh, cut into one. <laughs> Again, I need to get my bread knife. Let's see. Yes. Take this one. Ah, hot. I'm telling you. These suckers are hot. I really should wait till they cool down. But it's 7 o'clock and I've got things I need to do before the carpet guys show up and some other people. So I'm going to go ahead and get Oh, look at this. Ah, 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 ah. That is beautiful. There it is. Mm-hmm. Meat fill. Mozzarella all melted. See it? Mm-hmm. That looks good. That looks very good. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. Go ahead and take a picture of that, too. For a hubster. And until my next video, you all have a blessed day. Uh, enjoy your Tuesday. And, which is Monday's prettier sister. <laughs> Just a joke we used to say at work. But anyway. I hope you try some of these. The next time I make these, it will be with Philly steaks and smothered onions. But they'll probably have to be, uh, maybe not. I was going to say they probably have to be chopped. Maybe not. 
Maybe I can just put a whole round one laid on top. I don't know. Just get creative, you all. If you have any requests or ideas or want to see me make something or try something out, hey, let me know in the comments. Until then, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves and one another. Bye.